woman can have a penis? <laughs> Nick, I'm not... I don't think we can conduct this debate with, you know... Sorry, have I, have I, get I offended this, you in some No, way? no, no, it's just... Uh, no, 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 I just... A I woman can th- have a penis. I don't think that um, discussing this issue in this way helps anyone in the long run. What I want to see is um, a reform of the law as it is, but I also am an advocate of safe spaces for women, and I want to have a discussion that is... Anybody who genuinely wants to find a way through this is... Uh, I want to discuss that with... I, I do find that... Too many people, in my view, retreat or, or, or hold a position of, which is intolerant of others. And, I, and, I, and that's not picking on any individual at all. But um, I don't like intolerance. I like open discussion. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Keir Starmer recently couldn't define a woman and now he can't say whether some women have penises and he looked very flustered because he knew that whatever he said he was going to be wrong because if he said no women can't have penises he'd upset the trans lobby and would call him transphobic and if he said yes women can have penises he'd upset 51 percent of the population and blow his chances of any kind of election and also it would go against everything else he said including in that little video as you heard where he says he demands safe spaces for women with clear is that safe spaces for women with penises or just spaces for women who don't have penises or is it for women who've never had penises you see We need you, as the leader of your party, to define these things, to explain these things. Tell us what you think. But you don't do that, do you, Keir? Because you've got yourself tied up in a logical knot of socialism and you can't pin yourself to one side or the other because you know that whatever you say is going to come back and bite you on your big, fat, oily arse. And that's what happens to socialists and the woke karate. Because they cannot, they cannot be truthful unto themselves. Never, never mind truthful to people. So anyway, I shall go in and have a look at this piece in full. Uh, that was just a video from it. But uh, yeah, we're going to investigate and see yet again, Keir Starmer on the fence. He must like the feeling so here's the the piece Keir Starmer refuses to say if a woman can have a penis as he flounders while being grilled in a trans rights debate that's terrible that's two fish puns there Uh, and there's no place for that kind of humour the Labour leader was speaking during his regular phone in on LBC radio he was asked about Lilia Thomas a trans woman or man who won the women's 500 yard title Starmer said it is for sporting bodies themselves to decide who can compete. Well, that Leah Thomas has a sporting body, but it's a man's sporting body. Asked if a woman can have a penis, he said discussing it that way helps no one. Really? So he can't answer it because he knows, as I've said. He daren't answer it. Uh, So look, he's saying, oh, this won't help, this won't help. And he's trying to do anything he can to avoid answering the question because he's frit. We'll get into the uh, the piece. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has refused to say if a woman can have a penis during a debate about trans rights. Of course he won't say anything. Starmer, appearing on LBC Radio for his regular phone-in, was asked about trans athletes and the success of Leah Thomas, a trans woman who won the 500-yard freestyle title at the Women's NCAA Championships. The victory has sparked a debate around trans athletes taking part in competitive sport with critics claiming they have an advantage over other participants. Other participants. You see, they don't even, this, they're not even using the word woman now. They're cancelling women. With critics claiming they may have an advantage over women. That's easy. Not other participants. Women. 
But Starmer said it's for sporting bodies to decide for themselves who can and cannot be included in events. Hey, Mr. Lawmaker, you're going to bring in laws that say equality and who is and isn't a woman in law. So actually, it's not down to these sporting bodies, is it? It's down to politicians like you. So answer the question, you coward. Asked if a woman can have a penis, Starmer said, I'm not, uh, I don't think we can conduct this debate with, uh, I don't think that discussing this issue in this way helps anyone in the long run. Yeah, it does. It helps everyone understand what your point of view is, understand what your position is, and understand why you're frightened to answer the question. And there he is. Look at him. Little rabbit in the headlights. And then there's a picture of some man uh, who recently beat some women. He added, what I want to see is a reform of the law as it is, but I'm also an advocate of safe spaces for women. And I want to have a discussion, that is. That doesn't make any sense, but that's what he said. Yeah, if he's an advocate of safe spaces for women, then he's got to define what a woman is. And he can't define what a woman is. And do these safe spaces for women permit men to come in if those men call themselves women? Because in that case, it's not a safe space for women, is it? Come on, Kia, answer the question, dear. It's not hard. Anybody who genuinely wants to find a way through this, I want to discuss that with them. And I do not, uh, and I do find that too many people, in my view, retreat or hold a position which is intolerant of others. Well, you're retreating and you're holding a position which is intolerant of women. And that's not picking up any, on any individual at all. But I don't like intolerance, except to women. I like open discussion. OK, then, let's have that open discussion, Kia. The man asked you a question and you didn't answer it. That's not open discussion. That's cowardice. The Labour leader told LBC the issue surrounding trans athletes in sport throws up all sorts of difficult questions. No, no, it doesn't. The only difficult question is why are you letting men race against women? That's the only one. And it's not even a difficult question. It's just a difficult answer for people who are socialists and can't face the fact that men are better than women when it comes to sport. Because men are stronger, faster, denser bones, denser muscles, faster twitch response. This isn't a, a put down of women. It's a biological immutable fact. Women are better at having babies than men are. Again, an immutable fact. And despite what the mainstream media tell you, no man has ever given birth to a child. Some women with mental problems have given birth to children. Some women who didn't have mental problems have given birth to children and have gained mental problems. But these are other issues. Labour has found itself in difficulty over trans issues. Ha ha ha! Why? Why do you think socialists are in trouble over this? With Canterbury MP Rosie Duffield both criticised and heralded for her views. Ms Duffield came under fire for her opposition to male-bodied biological men being allowed to self-identify as female in order to access women-only spaces such as prisons and domestic violence refuges. Congratulations. Well done, Rosie Duffield. She opted not to attend the Labour Party conference in September after receiving threats and being branded transphobic, which she denies. Yeah, in order to protect women, they're threatening a woman. The irony is lost on these stupid, stupid people. Starmer later said the Kent MP had been wrong to say only women have a cervix. Really? Has the man ever opened a biology book? Because I've never, ever met anyone with a cervix who's not a woman in my entire life i'm 54 years of age and every individual i've met who happens to own a cervix is a woman every single one of them harry potter author jk rowling god bless her who had been vocal on her views on transgender people and biological sex well done jk said earlier this month that the Labour leader could no longer be counted on to defend women's rights. Not even today. Not even today, when asked a direct question, 
he couldn't answer it because he's scared. It came after Starmer told the Times trans women are women, which they're not, according to statute in the UK, which it doesn't, and called for a more considered respectful tolerant debate about gender. This isn't to do with gender, this is to do with sex. If you're male, you're male. That's your sex. Doesn't matter what you do to your body. Doesn't matter what you hack off, or what you insert, or what frock you put on. You're male. Your body is male. He insisted that he and his party have been defending the rights of women for a long, long time, and yet can't define what a woman is. I've spent a lot of my working life dealing with violence against women and girls firsthand, and I know from that experience just how important it is to fight for women and fight for equality then why are you doing your level best to destroy that? Why are you doing your best to fight against women and to fight against the equality that you so much admire? Why do you want to put women in danger? Why is that, Kia? Answer the question. Why do you want to harm women? Why do you want to encourage women to be raped? Why do you think it's important that girls should be exposed to penises in changing rooms. Why is that, Kia? One only has to look at the Labour Party's history on paedophiles to figure that out. Pi. We have legislation, he said, in this country, which makes it clear that, in some circumstances, particularly at the moment, under the law, when you've gone through a process, you can be recognised in the gender of your cho choosing. Yeah, that process is, I wish to be known as a woman. That's it. That's the process. There's no psychological testing. There's no, oh, you must have had this or you must have had that. It's simply self-declaration. That's the law. That's the law that Tony Blair, socialist, brought in. Starmer said the law needs reform. Yes, it does. It needs repealing. But I equally, and I want to be really clear about this, he says, I am an advocate for safe spaces for women. Especially women with penises. Labour frontbenchers Y Balls, Yvette Cooper's real name, and Annalise Dodds, God help us, both struggle to answer questions on this issue this month. Actually, it's a very difficult question to answer, isn't it? How do you define a woman? Um, an adult female? There you go. Simple. Shadow Home Secretary Ms Cooper refused three times to define what a woman is and told Radio Times she was not going to get into rabbit holes on this one. Well, funnily enough, being a woman, you tend to have a hole for a rabbit, but that's a different matter altogether. Ms Dodds, Labour's Shadow Minister for Women and Equalities, was asked the same question on BBC's Radio 4's Women's Hour and said there were different def definitions legally. Hmm, no there isn't. I think it does depend what the context is, surely. Yeah, here's the context. What is a woman? Legally. Biologically. Tell me what biologically a woman is, and we'll just stick with that one, shall we? Number 10, meanwhile, said Boris Johnson believes trans people should be treated with maximum possible generosity and respect. No one is ever saying you should not treat gender, transgender people without respect. No one is saying that. What they're saying is, treat them as the sex they are when it comes to sport, safe spaces for women, biological women, changing rooms if they're pre-op. The spokesman was asked whether the PM thought trans women were women and said people have the ability to change their legal sex and how that's recorded. It's not their legal sex. Their legal sex is their sex. You can, you can get it written down as female on a piece of paper and the law may say, oh, he's female. But that doesn't give that person the right to whip their cock out in a changing room full of young girls. But apparently the law says you can. And this is, this is wrong. And this is why it is wrong. And why should a man, a biological man, call himself a woman and then beat women in sport? You might as well just pack up every female sport tomorrow. And it is wrong. And the sooner we make a national debate about this, the better. In fact, I think it's the sort of thing that needs to go to a referendum. 
but there's no balls in Parliament because they won't have a referendum because they know the position. They know 99.9% .9 of the people in this country would vote a certain way, but they've got to, they've got to go this woke way to give a tiny, tiny minority rights that the rest of us don't have. And that's wrong. You either give everyone the right or nobody the right. Anyway, I'll come up and we'll round this video off. Yeah, so again, you can't legislate this. You can't legislate the right of men to participate in female sport. So the law has got to recognise that biological men pretending to be women are not women. The law has to recognise this. And if you're going to bring in a rule that says that a biological man may not play sport against a biological woman and that a biological man cannot enter a biological woman's safe space, then you are by definition in the law saying that biological men who call themselves women are not women. And that's fine. We just have a third term. It doesn't have to be anything nasty, but we just have a third term and then we make facilities for those people. So we have a third toilet. We have space, safe spaces for the mentally ill. You know, we have changing rooms for ladies with cocks. It's fine. I mean, obviously it's gonna cost hundreds of millions and millions of pounds, but I'm sure that all these, um, you know, woke organizations don't mind away, pissing all that money away to, to look good, you know, for their, what's the word, their, their points, you know, their woke points. Yes, we've spent 12 million pounds converting uh, lots of space into a third toilet for people. We notice that only three times a month are they ever getting used, but I'm sure it was worth the 10, you know, the 10 or 12 million that we spent on it. Or we just change the law, you know, it's, it's easy. But there's no way a biological man should be playing sport against a woman. There's no way a biological man should be in a changing room with women. And that's it. Now, if you have a view on that, I'd like to hear it. But that's my view. And it's the view of the vast majority of this country. Like I say, I reckon 99.9% .9 of the people in this country will agree with that position. But these Labour MPs cannot say it. They dead, dead say it. Because Oh, they're transphobes. Call me a transphobe. Go on. I don't care. I really don't care. But I'll protect women. I'll protect the rights of women. I'll protect the freedoms of women. I don't particularly watch much women's sport. Female tennis, maybe. Certainly not female football, I know. But I demand that... It, it's played by biological females. I don't want to see a man on a pitch. I don't want to see a man on a field of rugby against women. He'll kill them. And that is not a transphobic position. That's a pro-woman position. And it's the only good position. If you like what you're seeing here on this channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications. Leave a like and leave a comment. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.